Hello everyone. Today is Thursday, 24th of October 2024, and we're going to look at the trade that we have taken on Nasdaq, Dow Jones, and S&P 500 futures. If you look at the one-hour micro chart, we see that the price was fluctuating above the pair BSA close on all E-minis and retested this level a few times. And we can see that after New York market opening, the price had a pullback and the sellers pushed the price lower and retested the previous day close and then the buyers came back later on during the day and pushed the price higher. So the plan of action for today was to wait for this pullback to be completed and when the buyers came back here I took several long positions with setup B and C and T and we're going to look at the trades that were taken and have a low risk and high probability. So we're back and waited for the price to have a deep pullback and then the buyers come back. So when the buyers came back, we started to take long positions with setup B and now taking one position with setup C on NASDAQ and setting other limit orders below that on all eminence to be filled. And the buying pressure was not strong. So I closed the NASDAQ position manually waiting for another pullback, which is happening now and good area to enter now i just entered in the middle of channel and close it on the upper area of channel again repeatedly taking long positions here i take it with breakout because the buying pressure was very high and there was low chance of pullback we're waiting for more pullback but that doesn't happen so i take just one position and set other limit orders below that for better average price now all positions were fully filled on nasdaq and just closing these positions with profit on the upper area of the channel and again taking limit order in the lower area of the channel so we're having three positions now close one of them on the middle of channel and waiting for the other targets to be filled and also set other limit orders for better entry price so the buyers are coming back and we have a good buying pressure so we should reach the second target soon and adjusting the third target the second target was filled. I closed here manually because I saw selling pressure. Then again, buyers came back. So I re-entered manually for a quick scalp and we are done for the day. And as you see, we were positive on these accounts that were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funding accounts. And as you see, the performance on this account was positive, showing profit factor of 3.33 which is coming from 76% win rate and the average win to loss ratio, which is one. The largest winning trade and losing trades were both about $260 and equal. So hope all these trades taken by the PATH system for fast scalping is useful for you. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day and also have a great weekend.